What's going on? It's Thomas and in this video I want to show you exactly how you can start making $1,000 plus per day as an affiliate. Even going to show you an ad that we think is netting 5k a day profit per day, $5,000 per day profit. So let's get into it. We're going to be looking at the triple S method, which is basically spy, spin, scale. We spy and we find winning ads. Okay, affiliates have already scaled these ads. They've, I guess, path pavers. They've paved the path. We know the concept. We know the angle. We know uh, the script, the hook, the visual. We can take all of that into, our, into account to then spin it into our own ad. We want to make a unique ad. We don't want to be ripping and running. We don't want to be copy pasting. We are making unique ads. And in this day and age, with the array of AI tools available, that is so, so simple to do. So we're going to spy, find a winning ad, spin it into our own unique ad, and then scale by launching and getting stuff popping. Okay, so let's start off where we always start off in the spy tools. So when I don't have a specific offer in mind, when I don't have a domain or, or something that I know um, that I want to look at running, I'm just going to go ahead and in Video Ad Vault, I'm going to just pop in Convertry.com. So I know most affiliates that run ClickBank, BuyGoods, MaxWeb, Digistore offers on Facebook and YouTube use Convertry as the landing page builder. And I know a lot of them are a little bit lazy and don't set up a custom domain. So when we run Convertry.com, and you can do this in AdSpy as well on Facebook, the reason why I like YouTube AdSpy tools is because I can get a much clearer, accurate picture as to how much that affiliate is spending, and then I can sort of work out what they might be making. Okay, I don't have the exact details. I don't, have, you know, I'm not right running insider reports of their ad account, which you could do, but I'm not doing that. I am just literally guesstimating based off of average costs, average ROIs, et cetera, et cetera, based off four years' experience in doing this, right? So Convertry.com is going to bring back all these lazy affiliates that are just using a subdomain of Convertry because they can't be bothered buying or setting up a custom domain. And so, and, you know, whatever... But let's have a look. So put that in, and we have woodworking, divine prayer, 1.4 million for this woodworking video ad. Uh, and then we have this 32 million, 32.5 million views. Last seen yesterday, so probably still active. Published beginning of April, so it's been running six months. And it's fair to say this is spent a chunk of change, right? 32.5 million views. Well, if we were going to do 32,500,000, is that 32.5? I think that's 32.5 million. Times 0 0.5, because usually average cost per view on YouTube would be 5 cents in the countries that we'd be running in. UK, US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and some of the top European geos, usually going to average at five cents. Might be a little bit less, could be a little bit more. We're going to average in five cents. I mean, even if you were to say it's two cents a view, it's still going to be a decent chunk of change, right? But our five cents a view on 32.5 million views is 1.6 million, okay? So $1.6 million spent on this one ad, Chances are it's a profitable ad, right? You know, I, I think it's pretty fair to say that this affiliate is probably, you know, doing all right from this ad. So that's not it, though. Now we found this one ad. This is like the, the in that we need. We're looking for an in. Because now we don't have to worry about what else this brings up. We could still scroll through. But look, you're looking at like a trickle of, of views. Nothing that's really shouting and grabbing our attention. But we have this one bad boy that's 32.5 million standing head and shoulders above the rest. Well, we can hit this plus button. And there's a few things we can do. We can track when the scale really started. So you can see it's, you know, it's going up. Like it's an upwards trajectory the whole way through. But it's really started going up 
around July time through August, September, right? It's starting to really go a little bit um, more vertical, right? So I think if we were to stop beginning of or end of July, 16 million views from April to July, meaning August and September have or make up for the rest of the 16 million views, right? So they're really starting to scale. Now, when, whilst we're in here, we also have, you know, the, and here, actually, I didn't even see this before. There's your average views per day, 181,000 views per day. Again, if we were to run this through my trusty math calculator, that's 9K a day. And, and remember, this is average. So this is accounting for when they were maybe spending a little bit less at the beginning, right? But even so, like 9K a day, it's pretty good. Like if you were to work out 30% ROI, which would be an average uh, for an affiliate, again, so might be less, might be more, let's just say 30%, then that would give you $2,700 profit per day. Not bad, right? That's on the low end because I, I, I believe that this affiliate is maybe spending a little bit more than that. Um, I think they're scaling or have been scaling this last month or two. Right, so now we've got our in, we can also go and look at find more ads from this channel. This is a great way of finding other ads. This might not be the only ad this affiliate's running. In fact, chances are it's not. And we can see, last seen two days ago, nerve pain, okay? Blood sugar, 57,000. Blood sugar, again, 2.6 million. Nerve pain, 993K. Sugar, 97K. Nerve pain, 132. Look at the amount of views that these are getting. Now, they're not 32 million, which is why we know that this is probably a winning ad. But, you know, there, there's still some decent numbers coming up here. Tinnitus, right? And across a couple of different um, niches as well. Tinnitus again. V-Shred. Uh, memory. Again, like not too many views there. So it's probably just a small test that didn't go the way they wanted. But you get the idea, right? We found a way in to now find this affiliate. We know his YouTube channel. We're able to see what other ads that YouTube channel's been running. Now, as well, you can also find more ads linking to the domain. This is handy sometimes if the affiliate has been running the same domain across multiple channels because, you know, that way we can find other ads. We'll take a quick look just in case. It doesn't look like it. It looks like it's all running from the same channel. Video ad upload. So I'm not sure what that is, but pretty much all the same channel, okay? All right, interesting. So we have this affiliate that we can see has definitely got this one winning ad by far. So I'm going to skip across a little bit because I don't really want to pause there, but let's scroll down. And we can see the geos that they ran. So Australia, Belgium, Germany, UK, and States. Most recently seen across the US. But here's where we get the good stuff, right? So here's a copy, the script. Here's a hook. Now, I don't know if you caught my video the other day, but we also looked at a video, or it might have been inside Ad Profits Academy, actually. I can't remember if it was on the YouTube channel or inside the course, but the same, not the same hook, but a very similar hook, drinking water. Right, we, we found an ad, you know, or, or saw an ad, or spoke of an ad that had 29 million views, and the hook was drinking water before bed, blah blah blah. Right, the reason why drinking water, whether you're saying to drink it or add something to it to drink it to then get the desired outcome. Or whether you're saying don't drink it because blah, blah, blah. The reason why it's so effective is everybody drinks water. Like it's one of the only things that everybody does. Obviously sleep, drink water, eat, but not always eat the same type of foods, right? But everybody drinks water. So it's like, you know, as soon as we have that hook, whether it's drinking for a desired outcome or, or adding something or, or whatever it is, it catches people's attention because it's something they do. And, you know, why shouldn't I drink the water? So do not drink cold water. Why not? Right? I've got high blood sugar. Why not? Not me in general, but like if I was target market, well, I don't think I've got high blood sugar, but if I was target market, 
Why? Why not drink cold water? This works. So, like, I'll give you another example. We're running prostate right now. The offer's crushing on Facebook. Our hook that has been by far and away the most effective in terms of cost and ROI is if, you're, if you have a swollen prostate, don't drink tap water, okay? Again, most people drink tap water. I know some, not everyone, but most people drink tap water. And then if you've seen any of the news or, or things over the last few years, there's a lot of people saying don't drink tap water because of the, you know, whatever they're adding to it. And then there's, you know, pipes that haven't been cleaned in God knows how long. And, you know, there's businesses that have come out that are doing like billion dollar businesses that have, you know, basically filters for, the, for your tap or faucet, whatever you call it, wherever it is that in the world that you are. Tap or faucet, where you put a filter on to clean the drinking water, right? The tap water. So by using that hook, boom, like we're, we, you know, the one common thing everyone's doing, drinking water, why not drink it, right? Like, I have a swollen prostate, I need to know, because I drink, so I drink tap water, so why should I not drink it, right? Um, so those hooks kill. If you can find a hook that's like mass appeal, goes back to our criteria of finding winning offers, mass appeal, if people can really resonate with that hook, and it really tackles like, um, you know, that curiosity aspect, then it's a, it could be a real winner. So now we've got this script, right? Again, we're not ripping it. I'm not going to take it and you know put it straight into my own ad. What I'll do is I can copy it and take it into ChatGPT, and I can have Chat rewrite the script. I can have Chat whip up five, maybe ten different hooks that I can maybe test, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. But whilst we're in Video Ad Vault. It also does everything for you as well. You don't even need to have ChatGPT if you don't already have it or you don't want it. You know, we have AI script assistant options built in Video Ad Vault. I think Video Ad Vault's 99 or $97 a month. Cheap as chips for what you get. You, so you could literally rewrite this script without even touching ChatGPT. I don't know what AI model they use for this. It could be Chat, could be Claude. I don't know what it is. But... We can basically do it right from in here. I, I don't know what model is. Summarize, analyze. You, you've got four different options how you can utilize AI to sort of work out what's going on in this script and also to rewrite it, which is awesome. Really, really cool. For me, I prefer going straight into, into chat GPT. All right, so let's, before we go into that, before we go into rewriting the script, I just want to jump over to Vidtao because I also want to show you why Vidtao is so effective and why I do actually like Vidtao. I do prefer Video Ad Vault for some reason. I don't, maybe it's because I've used it longer. But I think I've definitely found more winning ads in Video Ad Vault and especially ones that maybe don't appear on Vidtao. Whereas, you know, most of the time you can find both on either. There's a lot of videos that I find on Video Ad Vault, which I don't find on Vidtao. I don't know why that is. I know Vidtao more recently have been starting to focus on networks and, and affiliate side of things, whereas maybe before then it was more brand focused. But Vid, Vidtao now have an awesome affiliate search criteria, filters, whatever you want to call it. So you can see on this drop down, I have affiliate selected. And we have the option of ads, offers, affiliates, and networks. Great. But already they just give us the, the, some of the top spending ads by total spend that they found, right? So you can see this list here. Site Care, a vision ad, has spent $4.7 million in, um, I, I don't know what the time frame is, but 2023 was when it was published. So within the last year, it's not bad. Right, here is our ad that we were literally just looking at. Sugar Defender is the offer, so we know exactly what the offer is. 2.2 million is the total spend. Now, this, this aspect I love about Vidtao, the ad spend in the last 30, because we could find an ad from like maybe three or four years ago that spent $25 million, but it hasn't spent anything for the last three years, right? So that doesn't mean it's not going to work if we were to spin it into our own thing, but it's always good to see something that's currently on top. And this has spent half a million dollars. So the one that we literally looked at on Video Ad Vault has spent over half a million dollars in the last 30 days 
according to VidTau. Obviously, pinch of salt needed. It's basically going off the amount of views. And I think VidTau do the same calculation, amount of views times five cents. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, but we can also find other ads, right? So uh, this looks like um, a foreign language ad. Prostadine. Okay, so prostate. So it's uh, 221,000 views in the last 30 days. So this could be an interesting one. Now, I don't know if they're able to... There's Convertry.com again. I don't know. It's not going to let me watch it. Private, so I can't watch it. Nope. Now, I don't, I don't think Vidtao have that script, like Video Ad Vault, which is such a, 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 a mint tool. It really is. It's a really good feature to have the... You know, to um, transcribe the script. They don't have that on VidTau, which again, there we go. But what we can do is we can, you know, now we found this on VidTau, we could go over to Video Ad Vault and try and find um, the same ad, right? You know, we know the name of the channel. We should know the name of the channel. Healthy Living Free. We know the domain, so we could search for this. It's on Convertry. Right, but then we can keep on going through. And, and the way I like to do it is I like to stack them up by an ad in the last 30 days, again, because I want to know what I spent the most. So there's our two. Sugar Defender, Prostadine, Prodentum is 189K. Prostadine again, so could be the same affiliate. Uh, what else have we got? Prostadine again, 36K. So, you know, a, a good array. But I think we focus here, right? This is our focus on, on this ad. So there's some other landing pages that they've tested now as well. So we've been trying a few different landers, so we could go through each of these. This is one thing that we didn't see in Video Ad Vault, I don't think, was the um, different landers. Uh, it's given us a few different ones, but not, not as many as, uh, as what we're seeing in here. All right, so anyway, just something I just want to check real quick. Healthier today. I, I thought I might have seen the same domain as this Prosadine ad in the same Sugar Defender ad. I was going to wonder if it was the same affiliate, which would be pretty good because then that means they spent, you know, 740 or 50K in the last 30 days just on these two ads, which would be pretty, pretty impressive, right? All right, so now we found our winning ad. We've got a script, etc. I'm just going to go back to Video Ad Vault. One, one thing I don't like about Video Ad Vault with this transcript is they don't, give any punctuation, right? You know, for anyone struggling with high blood sugar, do not drink cold water, did you know type 2 diabetes? That is no punctuation. It's literally just endless. So we've got to rely, either do, you know, put the full stops in ourselves, or allow um, this tool, ChatGPT, to do it for us. Now, I've already had this open. I was going to show you this as well, but I'm going to actually create a new chat but this was done by uploading our scripts for a nerve pain offer that we run. And I just said, give me 10 hooks for my nerve pain offer. So this is the intro into the video. And it's given me, you know, a few different ones. Some of these are quite good, to be fair. And I can tell you that this hook, or this style of hook, um, I threw my neuropathy meds in the trash, has been working really well. Um, you can see that's a big, big angle is the nerve pain meds, right? All right, so let's go and get a new chat with viral intro hooks. This is just a pre-built bo um, bot that someone's done, f done f and made it public. So I'm going to say, give me 10 hooks that would accompany this video ad script for a blood sugar supplement, right? And then I'm gonna paste in the script and hit enter. And let's just see what it brings back. Again, it's a right higgledy-piggledy. So we can see the hooks coming in now. None of these really grabbing my attention too much. Some of them are pretty, you know, like there is definitely, I definitely amplify a little bit on, on some of these. Um, 
How are we going to ask this? Okay, so basically make them a little longer and punch harder. Some of these I could see working for sure. All right. So, I mean, it's just spitting them out. And you could keep on going with this until you find something that you really like. I personally think some of these could work. And I might reword them a little bit. I might rewrite them. I might add to them. I might take away from them. I like this, the $50 billion secret. Quite like that one. Um, some of these might not be able to fly on YouTube because I know they have definitely tightened up on compliance in what you can say and show. Um, I like the doctor angle. The, the hate this blood sugar hack. I, I really like that angle. I think that could work a lot. Um, you know, again, with no pills, no injections. I think any angle that's really going down the, the line of um, what would be the word? Any angle, or, or you know, that's maybe giving an alternative to, or a natural alternative to prescribed medication, prescription meds. It's going to be a strong angle. Uh, because no one wants to take prescription meds. One, they're very expensive, and two, they often can cause side effects and, and you know, maybe unpleasant symptoms elsewhere, right? So no one really wants to go on prescription meds. So if there was a natural alternative that was effective, just as effective, then I think most people would go for that, especially if it was cheaper. All right, um... Yeah, again, playing on that big farmer angle. I quite like this one as well. I like this as well, that big farmer being terrified, cold water. So not many cold water ones, which isn't a problem because, you know, we can create some, like, I mean, we could even go to the, to the ad And say, give me 10 variations based around drinking water, either to achieve the desired outcome or as a warning to watch out for. I'm gonna, you know, I could word that better based off of this winning. Hook. Okay, so let's see what it spits out now. If we wanted a, a little bit more, so that you know, I, I get it, but like that doesn't really doesn't really tempt me. Do you know what I mean? That's better. Drinking water wrong. I don't think that's. Um, I don't think it'd work. I don't think that would work. I get why, you know, why chat's doing this is because it's on about cold water. I think there's some stronger plays that, then, that you'd be able to whip up on this one. That's a little bit better with the curiosity. I don't like the angle of the way you drink water. And I also don't really like the temperature aspect as well. But I know that's what's come out of the original... So I would be tempted to keep on going at this and feeding it into chat where, you know, let me, let's see if we use, use some of these as examples, right? So if you have high blood sugar, do not drink tap water. Right, and that could be, you know, like, you know, one quick change on this <clears throat> one quick change on this could be bottled water right again like because then that would be you know that, that sort of plays into the plastic right to, into that aspect which we know can have you know negative effects 
right? Like that's a, again, that's another great hook that we've used on prostate. Um, let's think what else. So if you have a high blood sugar, do not drink bottled water, do not drink tap water. Um, and then, you know, you've got the desired outcomes, right? So these would be like the warnings. These is warning examples. And use these as desired outcome examples. So then we could say, uh, what would be the desired out outcome? So drink, no. Add one teaspoon, and this would be really applicable and relevant if the supplement was a powder, because you know you've got these tonics, these powders that you can add a teaspoon. This is super relevant. If it was a capsule, I'd maybe reword this a little bit, but add one teaspoon of this to a glass of water before bed to lower your blood sugar. Again, not really much punch in that one, but I'm hoping chat gets the, the picture. Give me 10 hooks for each, the warning and the desired outcome. Okay, so let's go and see if chat will do anything with that as I take a swig of my bottled water. Okay, so I see these have been a little bit better. So see like how tinkering with chat and just like, if you're not happy with it, don't just like be like, oh, well, this is shit, move on. Tell it, tell it what you want. Tell it why you're not happy. And, and you know, a lot of the time it'll sort of grasp and that's just beneficial for you because uh, it takes me a long time to come up with 10 hooks, right? And, and especially in, in this much detail. And I don't have to use these as is, but what I often find is, one of these hooks might be like, I fucking like that. I really like this hook. But stuff will maybe just come to me. You know, now they've given me the idea. It's like, oh, I could add that on. Or I maybe make a new hook with the same concept and angle, but worded differently. Right? So this isn't always just about it being done for you. Obviously, it's great if it is because it saves a lot of time. But sometimes I'm like, oh, yeah, I could easily... You know, I think this would outperform. Again, you never know. These could be run as is, right? Let's just take a quick look. So if you have high blood sugar, do not drink tap water. It could be making things worse. I don't like that at the end, but, you know, I do like this. But obviously we told it to, to write this anyway. Warning. But I like that warning. Attention. Warning. Something like to, to grab the attention. Bottled water might be the reason your blood sugar isn't dropping. Stop drinking it now. High blood sugar, drinking tap water could be silently spiking your levels. Here's why. I quite like that one as well. If you're, because and again, you could sort of weave that into not being a direct call out. Whereas, I mean, that's not a direct because it's if, but you get the picture, right? If you're struggling with diabetes or if you're struggling with high blood sugar, never drink bottled water without knowing this first. Again, we could just switch this to tap water to, to make it more suitable. Tap water could be the silent culprit. Diabetics, bottled water could be doing more harm than good. I quite like that as well, but I'd probably reword it a little bit. The hidden danger in your tap water is stopping you from controlling. Bottled water and high blood sugar don't mix. Never drink tap water if you have... I quite like that. Never drink tap water if you have... I, I'd probably use high blood sugar. Um, and, I, but, and I'd probably change that. Potentially even remove it. All right, let's have a look and see the desired outcomes. Add one teaspoon of this to your water before bed and watch your blood sugar drop overnight. Quite like that. This, that reminds me of the, um, the weight loss one, the drink water before bed and lose 47 pounds in two weeks. I would, you know what I would do? I'd, I'd be very, very careful of keeping the overnight, keeping the time frame in. It's one thing Facebook hate. So whether you're running this on Facebook or YouTube, I'd be very, very careful. Like what I've noticed can work on Facebook is just changing it to a few. So like even, you know, instead of saying, melt 17 pounds in three days, melt 17 pounds in just a few days. Just that one change from three days to a few days, well, a few days could be anything, right? A few days could be like, you know, how, like endless, right? It could be could, forever, or it's in a few days. I don't know when, in a few days, right? So like just changing that one little bit can, um, can get your ad approved. All right, diabetics are raving about this bedtime water hack, just one teaspoon to lower blood sugar, I quite like that. 
Secret to balance blood sugar, stir this into your water. I like that one as well. This one, simple water could, trick could transform your blood sugar. Cigarette, uh, you won't believe how once it's been in water. The bedtime, it's your water. Watch your blood sugar drop, no meds needed. I quite like, well, I, I don't like the end, the, the last few, but I quite like the first few. So, so these would be something. So I could take like three from here, three from this one, and be quite happy with them as is. I could also keep on feeding this into chat. Obviously, you know, like we're 30 minutes into this video. The first 15, 20 minutes was looking at the spy tool and finding the copy. So for like the last 10, 15 minutes, we've managed to get some decent hooks here. You know, like it'd take me a lot longer to be writing these out. So we've got our hooks, right? So what I would probably do now is I would go over, I just want to make sure I've got my copy again. And then we could go over to an AI copywriter, ChatGPT copywriter. Again, I've got my nerve pain in here. The thing I really love about this is it also gives you ideas for your visuals, which is perfect if you're like me and you're not really a, a, a tech guy. You know, I hate video editing. I, like I, even if I followed instructions like this, I still make shit videos, right? Like I don't have that design aspect, that element, that I for design. You might, which is awesome because you'll have a, a head start. Um, but for me, I don't. So I get someone else to do it, do it for me. But let's go in ahead and open a new chat. This is a new bot that I've been using. Don't know what to think of it just yet because I've only fed it in a couple of things. Ah. All right, so let's see what this bot can do. So I don't know exactly what, so let's have a look, what was the opening? So did you know, so after the don't drink cold water, did you know type two type uses completely reversible condition? You may not know this, but. So did you know type is a completely reversible, yeah, you heard that right. So again, that's just basically ripped the exact same line. So I would be very, very careful in combing through this. <clears throat> you may not know this, but the biological reason why people, you heard that right, a groundbreaking study. So it's gone into its own now, just released in November 23, uncovered a game change in discovery. I'm, I'm just trying to go back and forth because I don't want this to be the same or similar to the original script. Obviously I want it to be similar, I don't, I don't want it to be using lines. So like that opening line was the exact same. You know, did you know type two diabetes is completely reversible condition? I feel like that could be rewritten, right? I don't think they need to use the same thing, but yeah. But you can see how effective this is, right? Again, I'm not going through it all because it, you know, it take me five minutes to sort of sit side by side and, and read through it. So it could be that it's the same, I'm just trying to look at bits and, and see chunks. I don't see anything, you know, obviously there's going to be the odd word that's the same, the odd phrase that's the same, which can't be helped. But up, upshot is, it's pretty much unique, right? It's pretty much unique. And that's how easy it is. Like this was, you know, a few seconds in order to spin this up. You could use this just on normal chat GPT. You could find another bot that's already been done. I'll tell you a, a really good bot. Let's go and see what... I really like this for ad copy, as in like the primary text and headlines. But let me go. How do we get back to... Uh, where's our old... There it is. Good old Sean. Get Sean GPT up here. I really like... This is from Sean Vosler. If anyone's familiar with with Sean, but super good copywriter, well respected. So I'm just going to put this in and see what Sean's comes up with to see if there's any, um, any difference. Well, already one thing I like is the structure. Like it doesn't look, at, well, I'm saying that it does look a bit blocky, but Now, I'd like to jump back and forth here. Where, where's our script?
God, Video Ad Vault make it very difficult to read. With this non-punctuation. Okay, so if you're struggling with high blood sugar, listen up. Whatever you do, don't drink cold water. So we'd use one of our hooks there. I don't like the hook. Did you know that types it? So it's, again, same, same line, completely reversible. Yes, you heard that right. That's also what the other one used. Yes, you heard that right. It's interesting as well, isn't it? The real reason people battle with type 2 diabetes has nothing to do with the carbs or sugar you're eating. In a groundbreaking November 23 study from the University of Dorf, I don't even know if that's a university, kind of feel like that should be Dusseldorf. I don't know, maybe there is a University of Dorf, but I kind of feel it should be Dusseldorf. Uh, researchers found that the true culprit is a bunch of sticky protein-filled cells clogging up your pancreas, the very organ responsible. So again, it's similar. And it might be too similar. I, I don't, you know, we didn't sort of cross-reference like we did with the um, original. Might be a little bit too close. So it might be the fact that you want to rewrite this. I'm giving you the idea, right, that this is very, very much doable. Like, you could literally say, this is good, but make it more unique. And what you should be doing here as well, so let's say if this was for Sugar Defender, I would ideally have either the VSL script. I don't know why I'm looking over there. I'm looking at my other camera. But you should have the, the VSL script or and or email swipes because you'd be able to feed this into the bot as well, which will help the, the bot understand the market, the audience, the offer, to be able to sort of come up with new phrases, new keywords, new ideas, right? So this is a rewrite. Again, this is going to be a lot more unique. So this, let's just say that this was what we wanted to go with, right? All right, so what I would do, if we were going to use this script, I would take this script and I would jump over to 11 labs, to the text-to-speech. I'd then go and get our hooks that we had, which were... Let's just grab this one, right? So add one teaspoon. And I'd generate speech. I'd first try and think which one we want. Don't be afraid to go out on a limb. So that'd do. I'd generate the speech. We'd get the voiceover. So this is getting the voiceover. AI voiceover. Super quick, super cheap. Add one teaspoon of this to your water before bed. And watch your blood sugar drop overnight. Most people believe that type 2 diabetes is a life sentence, but here's the shocker. It's 100% reversible. That's right, reversible. And it's not about cutting carbs or sugar, like they always say. So I quite like that, to be fair, in hearing that. I quite like that sort of intro into the script. The hook's good, and that intro sort of, you know, goes quite well. The voice sounds good. Um, so yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Now, again, we're 38 minutes in. 20 minutes of that was looking at spy tools. So like for 20 minutes, we've got our script, we've got our hooks, and now we've got our first voiceover. So what I would do now is I'd literally take this, download it, which we can do, and then I would change the hook, right? So then I'd replace with hook two, hook three, hook four, hook five, however many hooks you're doing, right? And I'd just add in the hook each time. You could also delete to save, you know, some credits, you could literally delete the body and just generate, and this would make more sense, to be fair, just generate hooks. Because then you've got, like, all your hooks. You don't use anywhere near as, as many credits to generate a hook. And then all you do is you just cut the original hook, replace it with the new hook in your video, right? So after I've got that, the voiceovers, I'd go to somewhere like Veed. Now, I don't have a, well, I don't have a paid account with these guys anymore because um, I don't do creative anymore. I don't use this. But you can see I used to, you know, a few months ago even. Now, you know, we, I mean, we ran... Some of these ads on these 25 pages have grossed well over a million dollars each. Not all of them, but, you know, there's a good few that have. So, and this was just done with V.io. Nothing, like, I mean, you can even watch the shitness of my 
video editing skills, right? So I think this is a video that, we, that I did. Choking your eggplant can stiffen your manhood. This choking technique restores the natural <laughs> blood flow. Into even the fucking, sorry, even the voiceover is terrible, right? So, like, this does not have to be, this, this one ad, I don't know if this particular ad grossed that much, but it definitely did very well. This script did insanely well, and I know this opening visual, this opening hook with the, the three ladies worked insanely well, okay? Insanely well. So, you know, the ugly can do better for sure. And look at this, like, I didn't do anything special. I've got no video editing skills. I took this from one of our other ads, so I had the, the, the women... And then I literally just did text presentation. And it, even the text presentation's ugly. Like, even that looks shit. So it doesn't have to be special. And this ad definitely did pretty good. It, I don't think it did um, close to a million, but it, it definitely did well. Okay, so let me try and figure out how to go back to the start. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do anything here because I don't have a paid account anymore. And I don't really want to upgrade either just for the sake of this. But ultimately what you would do, create a new project. And again, you could use CapCut, by the way. I know CapCut. My creative team use CapCut. They don't use Veed. <laughs> I'm just saying to use Veed because it's, uh, I think it's probably a little bit more beginner friendly. I've never used CapCut either, so I can't comment on that. All right. So then what we do is we go ahead and grab our voiceover. And try and drag that in. Add one teaspoon of I'd switch this to square. And then, so add this to, what was the opening hook? It was add a teaspoon of this. So if we go to media, now a cool thing about this, and I guess most video tools will also have this, like their access to a stock library. So if we ask teaspoon... So what's it going to do with that teaspoon? Is it just looking at it? Oh, it's just putting it in. So what I'm looking for now is, it, do we have a clip here of adding a teaspoon of something to a glass of water? That is what I'm ultimately looking at. So something like this, again, you know, I, maybe we wouldn't... Ah, it's not going to let me do it because I haven't got a subscription. But, you know, in essence, something like that would work. Something, you know, you can hopefully you can see what I'm looking at here. You, you know what would work best? Would be you going into your kitchen and filming yourself making a drink, making your own drink. Again, we, you know, if you're in Ad Profits, you'll have seen today I uploaded um, a few different creatives and a brief from my creative guy on how he does creative, how he sources it, comes up with angles, concepts, etc., and how he puts it together. And we, I attached a few different creatives to give you an idea of what that looks like. Um, and so a lot of what he does is UGC-style content where he's filming himself do something. Not his face, literally like it's like he's got like a body cam on or something and he's just filming his hands, you know, making a drink, adding a teaspoon, adding some ice, blah, blah, blah. Um, and, you know, I, I remember, you know, that's what crushed for a long, long time is that style of, of content, that creative concept. So that's how easy it is, right? So what I do, again, whether you use Veed, Canva, CapCut, Adobe Premiere, Camtasia, doesn't matter, just as long as you've got something. I'm not saying Veed is the best to use. In fact, it's probably... Well, in fact, my creative guys laughed at me when, when I told him that I was going to do it with Veed. But I don't have CapCut, and I don't know how to use CapCut. So I do know how to use Veed, because I did once use it. So it's easier for me to show this. But whatever video tool if it allows you to build videos, if it allows you to upload voiceovers, if it allows you to then transcribe that voiceover, again, it won't let me, but if I had a paid account, it would allow me to you know, overlay transcription. So then we've got these nice text animations that pop, right? That's what you need, okay? And then you'd create this, you'd do the same for all your other hooks. So then you'd come here and you'd like split the opening hook, which is probably here, cut this out, add your new hook in, voiceover, transcribe that. So then you'd only have the one body and you just add your, your hooks 
uh, rotate them round, and then you'd have five, ten videos to test. And based off a winning script. So there we go. A little bit longer than what I anticipated, 45 minutes in. But hopefully that shows you the power of the triple S method. That's what I'm coining it. Spy, spin, scale. Like find an ad that's winning, whether that's using Facebook ad spy tools, YouTube ad spy tools or whatever. Spin it into something unique like we just did where we created 10 new brand, brand new hooks and we created a brand new script that we can then have a voiceover made up within like 30 seconds and then ideally give it to someone who knows what they're doing or fumble your way through a video editor like me and, uh, <laughs> and build your own. But, like, you know, I think you could have five or ten solid videos within an hour. Okay, so there's no excuse to be like, ah, oh, you know, it's going to take weeks. It really isn't. Like, it literally takes minutes. Like, you can literally rewrite a script. You can find a winning ad in, like, five minutes. You can rewrite that script in five minutes. You can get a voiceover in five minutes. You can get a video made in five minutes. Like, it doesn't have to be anything complicated. Sometimes, either UGC uh, making a drink, loop it. So you just do, like, 15 seconds of making a drink and loop it if you want. So it just replays again and again with your voiceover and transcript. Um, or just do the whole thing, or just do text presentation and just have a visual 10, 15 seconds hook and then go into the text presentation mode. That's all you need to do. And then launch it on Facebook. I would say go with low budgets. There's a hint. Again, this is something that we're, I'm going to be spending a lot more time teaching in ad profits is these micro budgets where we, um, you know, we can test quite cheap uh, and we can also scale quite cheap and prove winners without risking a lot of budget. Uh, and obviously, in this day and age right now, Q4 tomorrow, and then we've got the elections coming up. Facebook has already been wobbly most of this year. It could even get more wobbly or erratic. So having control, taking control away from Facebook a little bit is probably not a bad idea. I don't think, you know... The things that Facebook ask and tell you and request you to do and set up, I don't think they work that well. So, um, yeah, but again, that's inside Ad Profits, which leads me in nicely. If you, um, if you do want to join Ad Profits, the price will be going up probably at the end of this week. I am uploading the, I think, about 10, 15 more videos and then the price is going to go up. There's still a bunch of content already in there, enough to get started with. Um, but the, the price is so low because it's not fully uploaded yet. So grandfathered in, you'll get the lowest price if you sign up today. The annual, if you sign up to the annual, which again is ultra cheap, you get three months free, so you only pay for nine months essentially, and you also get access to the scaling classroom, which is only unlocked um, if you upgrade to annual. There is scaling strategies and videos that we're going to be covering in the normal content, but I'm talking about external scaling strategies and other higher level scaling strategies inside the scaling classroom. One of them, which I uploaded the other day, is banking me around five, six hundred dollars a day, and I'm not doing any work for it. Okay, so that's how good I did have to do work. I'll be transparent. I did have to do the work up front, but now I, I'm like I've been banking five, six hundred dollars a day. And I have not done a single thing for probably three months on that offer. So there we go. So if that tickles your pickle and you want to get inside Ad Profits, not only do you get access to all the content, you also get access to me. I'm in the community. You can ask questions, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, Drop the link below. I'll drop it in the description. Check that out. There's a video and, and a little bit more of an overview of what's involved and what's included. And I'll hopefully see you inside. Cheers, guys.